buses. The backbone of public transportation in busy cities across the world. If you live in London or have had the chance to visit, you would relate to the iconic red double-deck buses travelling through the capital city. Have you ever thought of where it may have come from? Yes, here from the historical land of the pharaohs, Egypt. MCV's impressive industrial facility is situated on more than 66 acres, equivalent to 37 Wembley Stadium pitches built side by side. More than 6,000 buses per single year are produced with a world-class quality and on exceptional performance, most of which are exported across the world. Here at MCV, we have more than 5,000 workers, engineers and designers who work following a structured system which includes the ability to catalogue each part produced for traceability and conformity of production. MCV engineers design the bus body using 3D modelling and design programming before the first manufacturing stage. The machining factory. Using state-of-the-art machinery, we start cutting and crafting every section of the bus. The five-axis CNC machine starts by cutting, drilling and milling the aluminium sections for the body frame of the bus. While the CNC nibbler works on the aluminium sheets. And there is the CNC plasma cutting machine where the rest of the parts are accurately cut to match the required design. All of these parts are moved to the framing factory. Once the Volvo chassis is in the production line, workers start by removing the air tanks and air pipes and decommissioning the 600 volt hybrid system for safety. The chassis is then balanced The side frames are fixed to the chassis followed by the fitting of the specially designed interdeck, which optimizes headroom both in the lower and upper deck passenger areas to achieve minimum weight and maximum strength. Assembly and fitment of the GRP staircase into its position is carried out at this time. The inside partitions are filled with foam blocks for insulation. Aluminium panels are bonded over to the skeleton to form the outer skin. Aluminium is used for its lightweight durability and ease of repair. Then the marine treated plywood floor is installed in the lower deck. The fiberglass front and rear ends are attached, by which the framing process ends and the buses are ready for painting. The Painting Factory Coming into the state of the art paint facility, which would normally be a bottleneck for body manufacturers, proudly MCV has 32 paint booths in the paint factory. With the output of one bus every 90 minutes, painting is never a problem for MCV. The process starts with preparation, priming of the body, so that the bus is ready to wear its iconic red suit. Then the workers do a full checkup on the paint so the bus is ready for the next stage. The finishing factory. Utilizing a cutting edge technology system, the supervisor of the production line reviews each process that has taken place carefully. 
installation of the electrical harness, AC parts, fiber parts, floor covering, iBus system, CCTV, destination blinds, wipers and other components. Side glass is fitted during the night shift to allow full curing. Then the installation of all the handrails and the seating following the required standards carefully. Finally, uploading of the programming software for the communication with the Volvo system is done before moving the bus to the inspection stage. Where a strict set of function tests are applied by MCV quality control team. Wheels alignment, stability, lighting system including headlights and taillights, door system, access ramp, the induction loop system. A road test is carried out by MCV skilled drivers on a predetermined test route to test all functions, safety and interlocks. Then the bus heads to the shower test, where the water is pumped with a three bar pressure to ensure the bus is able to work efficiently under extreme weather conditions. Then around 100 labels and vinyls are applied to the interior and exterior of the bus, ensuring compliance with Transport for London requirements. Finally, the bus is perfectly polished and prepared for shipping. Now the bus's ride has ended inside MCV's industrial facility and is ready to start a longer ride of hard work through the streets of London.